My name is Jennifer Taylor Kauser. I'm at National Jewish Health where I'm an adult and pediatric pulmonologist and I have several publications coming out tomorrow in the New England Journal of Medicine. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder, so a disorder that people are born with and it causes over time people to have lung destruction because of recurrent infections and inflammation. The reason that happens is because there's a genetic disorder that causes a mutation in the protein and the protein actually doesn't make it to the cell surface where it's supposed to function as a chloride channel. So the current treatment for cystic fibrosis is really based on symptoms. So we treat people's chronic infections, the thick mucus in their lungs with things like pulmazyme, hypertonic saline, chronic inhaled antibiotics. In addition to the thick mucus that people have in their lungs, they also have thick mucus in their pancreas, so their pancreas doesn't function properly. And we also have to have people therefore take enzymes every day with every meal and every snack in order for them to absorb their calories. So those are the basic treatments that we use in addition to airway clearance to move the mucus out and exercise. And people have to do those at least once or twice a day. Um, if they're sick, they do them more like three or four times a day. And so these new therapies are really a game changer. The reason being that they are pills that people can take twice a day that actually improve the function of CFTR, or that chloride channel, at the level of the protein. So they have more chloride secretion, therefore they're secretions are thinner, their gut works better, and they can hopefully take less enzymes and maybe in the future take less of those other therapies. Back in 2012, the drug Ivacaftor, the trade name is Kaleidico, was approved for people who have a copy of the mutation called G551D. And the drug that cured, well not cured, but the drug that improved their lung function and their appetite and their weight it actually improved them quite well. So their lung function went up by about 10.6% and their weight did also go up. But that was a very small portion of patients. So only 4% of patients had the G551D mutation. Eventually, that label was actually expanded so it now covers more than 30 mutations and it does actually work quite well. Again, it's only a small portion of the population. There are also two combination medicines. One is Lumacaftor Ivacaftor, the other one is Tezacaftor Ivacaftor, and those are approved for people with two copies of F508 DEL. Now that's the most common mutation, so about 50% of the patients in the U.S. and around the world have two copies of F508 DEL. The difficulties with those two medications is that they didn't work quite as well as Ivacaftor did for G551D. So in the studies of or can be, or Lumacaftor Ivacaftor, the improvement in lung function was around 2.8%. For Tezacaftor Ivacaftor, the trade name is Simdico, the improvement was around 4%. Both of those drugs did actually improve rates of exacerbation, so times when people get more sick than they're even sick at their baseline. So Ivacaftor reduced exacerbations about 55%, these two drugs in the high 30s. So they weren't as good as Ivacaftor was for G551D, but the issue is that, again, Ivacaftor only works for a certain number of mutations. And Tezacaftor Ivacaftor also works on those mutations, again, small portion of the population. The really incredibly exciting thing about these new drugs that just are going to be reported tomorrow in the New England Journal is that they will help 90% of the people with CF. So again, currently Tezacaftor Ivacaftor is a double combination that's approved for people who have two copies of F508 DEL or one copy of F508 DEL and something called a residual function mutation. So it responds to Ivacaftor. And the difference with the triple combination, either 445 or 659 plus Tezacaftor, Ivacaftor, is that it can help that F508 DEL protein move better to the top of the cell surface. Under normal circumstances, that protein is very misfolded and therefore is degraded by the cell before it gets to the top of the cell to function as a chloride channel. If you add 445 and Tezacaftor, two correctors, they can help move that protein to the top of the cell and then the Ivacaftor helps it work better. So the triple combinations help those F508 DEL proteins make it to the top of the cell and function better once they're there. So the exciting news in this paper that's coming out is that we were able to improve lung function in people who have one copy of F508 DEL and a minimal function mutation around 13%. 
and in people who have two copies of F508 Dell, we were able to improve lung function on top of the improvement seen in Tez Iva around 10 to 11 um, percent. And so with the triple combination of 659 and Tezacaftor, Ivacaftor, we saw very similar results. So in the F508 Dell minimal function patients, there was an improvement of around 13 percent. And again, in the homozygous patients, you saw additional improvement above Tez Iva of around 9 to 10 percent. So all of these drugs are actually metabolized by the liver. And one of the things that we've noticed as we've done these studies over the last six to seven years is that people with CF do have a lot of fluctuation in their liver function tests. We did see two people who had some changes in their liver function tests, who, one who had to stop the study and one who just had drug interruption. So it's going to be something that we'll watch in the phase three trials. But we definitely don't think it's a game stopper. Very few patients that out of the 73 in each of the studies had difficulties with their liver enzymes. The reason we chose to go forward with two different combinations is because we want to have the best chance to be able to expand the use of modulators for 90% of people with CF. So there's always a chance in drug development that you're going to have, for example, an, a, a safety signal that you weren't expecting. And so we wanted to have basically two shots on goal. And so we'll decide both on safety and efficacy which one of these two triple combinations is the best one to move forward to submit to the FDA. Well, so Tezacaftor and Ivacaftor are part of these triple combinations. So for sure, those two drugs will still be in that combination. We most likely will not need to use Kalydeco or Ivacaftor alone, um, and I think that my prediction would be that Orcambi will be no longer necessary because you're going to have people who are on this triple combination therapy, um, and it works much better based on the phase two trials than a double combination alone. So I think another really exciting aspect of the data from these trials is the improvement in the patient reported outcomes. So the cystic fibrosis questionnaire revised is a CF specific patient quality of life measure. We think that the minimal clinically important difference is four in that test. So if somebody improves their score by four on the respiratory domain, that's clinically important. In these studies, we saw improvements of 20 points in people's quality of life scores. And when you talk to patients, they just feel better. They have more energy, they can clear their sputum more easily, their sinus disease feels better. So they actually feel better on a day-to-day -day basis while they're on these drugs, which is a little bit different than what we see with the symptomatic therapies that they've used in the past, where they may not actually notice whether or not they've started it. With these drugs, they notice right away when they start the drugs and how much better they feel immediately. So the drugs actually they're systemically active, so they do actually help the pancreas. Whether or not we can reverse pancreatic dysfunction, I think is still yet to be determined. We really do want to know what happens if you start these drugs. For example, as soon as someone's diagnosed at birth, can we actually reverse some of the pancreatic dysfunction with which they were born? Those questions are yet to be answered. We do know that people do gain weight when they start these drugs, so their pancreatic pancreatic function is improved while they're on these triple combination therapies as demonstrated by their weight. Um, so I do actually distinctly remember when Kalydeco was first approved and people calling in and saying, hey, we heard there's a cure for cystic fibrosis. Unfortunately, this is not a cure because people still have to take it every single day. If you stop taking drug, we know from the phase two trials for each one of these drugs that people's lung function actually returns down to baseline or can even drop a little bit below baseline. They're, they stop gaining weight. The effects onset really quickly, but they also offset really quickly. And so we haven't actually fixed the genetic problem. We are improving the protein function, but we still don't have a cure yet for cystic fibrosis. So there's still more research to be done. So there actually have been a number of gene therapy trials in cystic fibrosis since the disease was discovered, or the gene was discovered back in 1989. Unfortunately, none of them have actually shown to be efficacious to this point. They are still doing a lot of trials in the UK, actually, looking at gene therapy, trying to get better transfer of the corrected gene into the lung. But it's very difficult because the lung is meant to get rid of things that aren't supposed to be there. So if you inhale something that you're not supposed to inhale, like a bacteria or a fungus, your body clears it up the mucociliar ladder and you cough it out. And so when you try to introduce a foreign body into the lung, the lungs try to fight it off. So it's very difficult, particularly in the setting of cystic fibrosis where you have to get through layers and layers of thick mucus to get that gene delivered to the correct place. Um, it makes it very challenging, but people are still investigating gene therapy for cystic fibrosis. Importantly, people are also looking at things like gene editing um, that may have a future in cystic fibrosis and other diseases.